bloody boots. <laughs> Going to show you a real quick way of getting these, the rotor off the motor. This is the flood motor again. We're going to take this off. I'll show you a real easy way. Just lock a screwdriver through there because it's got to turn that way. To undo your main nut, your main bolt that holds it on. So just to lock it, and I've, un I've cracked it before. It can take some doing. So you use a screwdriver here. And if you push down there, you're working against your screwdriver already. Have someone else holding your motor down so you don't lift the motor off the bench. If you start here, wherever is there now, all you're going to do is you're going to lift the motor off the bench, which isn't going to really work. So you need to work with your block that you're using to hold. So we've got that. Rip that out of there. Now, at the moment, I can't remember what size bolt, but I'll, when we put the text up, I'll get what size bolt it is. When you buy the bolt at your bolt shop, wind, grind the, the edges, the high edges off the end of your bolt so that you don't, so that you end up with a very smooth face that goes against the end of your crankshaft. Because when you buy the bolt, it has raised edges around it everywhere. Grind that off, slide that in there. Because you move, you've got to go the other way, bring your block, whatever you're using for your block, around so that it locks. Drive your bolt in there as far as it goes. Load it up a little bit. And then just belt it with maybe a rubber hammer, maybe... Maybe steel hammer They're not normally that tight, but being that tight, which is why you have a really flat edge on the end of your bolt. Okay, that's not like that. All right. So we're having a bit of hard time getting this off. So we're going to move from a hammer, a, a, a rubber hammer to a steel hammer, because what we need to do, we need to transfer the shock through the bolt onto the end of the crankshaft, because this sits on a, a male taper. So this, the rotor has a female, and it just sits, sits like that, and that's what's locking. So we have to undo that. So we need to sh transfer the shock through that. So it's just a matter of locking your start up, and it's, uh, there you go. So it's just the size of the smack stick you're using as to how you get it off. So, but like I say, um, I'll put the size of the bolt and the pitch of the thread that you need in the in the as we as the movie's rolling, so that you know from there. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. See, when we when I was using that rubber hammer. It's obviously you can't do this up because when I stopped the video, you could actually feel the thread stretching. So maybe drop your drop your rubber hammer straight up. Don't worry about it. Go straight to a steel hammer. I just thought it would. And then to come, I know on mine, this is the flood victim. On my own personal bike, I've actually put anti-seize on there so you don't get that lock. So, but yeah, that's how you take the stator rotor off the motor.